Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. How good afternoon. Are you? How are you? How Happy are you doing? birthday, Marine. Thank you. Thank you, Semper Fi. Semper Fi to all my brothers and, and to all military uh, friends, personnel, and I had a. I really. I have to lower this. I'm sorry. There you go. You can hear that voice even from here. Holy. Uh, Happy wow. Happy Veterans Day to my, to you, my best friend, Thank my you. work husband, to David Lange, another veteran, and to Randy Scott. So those are my three total veterans that I know, but you know tons. So. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. No, I have to tell you, um, I missed, they had a, a ball at Tun Tavern, and I was supposed to, uh, to be there in dress blues, but my, my blues just, they don't fit me <laughs> the way they're Get supposed to fit No, 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 no. Oh. They're just super, super tight, and oh. you just can't breathe. They're supposed to be form-fitting, but... I just can't breathe in it. So. Oh, God. But uh, I was supposed to get it. Uh, I, I thought it fit. But anyway, it, that wasn't the reason I had to go to a, a game with my son. But um, I was looking forward to it this year because I haven't been and I got invited. Oh. So it's really a great thing where everybody's dressed in blues and stuff like that. They're dressed blues and you see the officers all in white. And and a lot of women are in their gowns. and It's really, really a How beautiful nice. event. Yeah, it it's really, be, really yeah. nice. So um, anyway, Semper Fi brothers, I'm, I'm really, really happy. And to all the veterans, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I know serving. that, yeah, there's a lot of uh, meals going out to the veterans. Yeah. Today, I was talking to a few people, and they just pull up to the restaurant, you call it, and they just bring it to the car. It's you know, really something. It, it was funny. I went to the, uh, I went to the mall. I had to run to, uh, in the mall. And all of a sudden, uh, someone recognized me, whatever. You know, I always run into somebody. And I was getting sneakers for my, you know, for my son and, and my other son. Uh, I have a few sons. And... Uh, I adopted a few sons, all right? So I have to get this clear, because wait, wait. I have to make something clear. Thank you, because I have right, about I 17 you messages. Because right, I got to tell you, I posted a picture of myself holding a baby, a three-month-old baby. Now, I was in the moment. I was watching the Dallas Cowboy games with all my friends, and my friend had a child. That was his, him and his wife. And I grabbed the baby, and, and they took pictures of me, and they were like, look at the size of this baby. It's a beautiful baby, three months. And uh, uh, Lee, and, and I got to tell you, I turned around, and I, I, I just, I'm so happy with the picture. So all my friends, I went on, on Instagram, and I posted, and I said, this is a future Dallas Cowboy player or fan. And I put football, football, football. Okay. I think I have 500 likes, right, that I have about 250 comments. A lot of people say congratulations, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Congratulations for what? I was just holding a baby. I was just in for the moment, but it was everybody. Was, I mean, a lot of people were asking if it was my child. Yes, was I my got him too, Jim, and, darling. So it's not my child. It's I'm not, not his the baby, father. okay? Stop I'm not sending the father. me to Texas. <laughs> okay, just to let everybody know, okay? <laughs> yeah, so just to, get, just to get that clear. So we're going to start off on this very special day with my very good friend here, Jaden, who is part of the whole package that we have when we talk about Lana Noon and uh, the Baby Lift program. So first we're going to start off with a song, and then Lana's going to join us. very much. Could you think you could bring beautiful, your grandma beautiful. up? Thank you, honey. So I'd like to introduce this wonderful lady, Linda Frere, from the Pan Am Museum Foundation. Thank you so welcome, much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank I you very much. So nice to be here. glad to have met you, and both Lana and I are so thrilled and great, too, because right. uh, we can't believe how, from the little, you know, event we had here a year ago, how this is going to grow now. And the Pan Am Museum Foundation... I didn't even realize when I came to see you that it was right here in Garden City and how gorgeous and big it is. I, I love seeing you. everything. Thank you. Yes, it was kind of serendipity that we happened to encounter or kind of get to know Lana. Um, I think Lana was um, looking for things about Pan Am and discovered there happened to be a Pan Am Museum 
in fact, located in her hometown of Garden City, Long Island, <laughs> probably five to ten minutes <laughs> from <even> her <laughs> home, <laughs> yes. um, a stone's throw, and a place that we're all familiar with, um, which is the Cradle of Aviation. And we lease space from the Cradle. We're on the third floor, the mezzanine floor. Uh, in operation since 2016 and founded by former Pan Am employees. Uh, we're a passionate group of people who are committed to preserving Pan Am's legacy and, uh, and putting a spotlight on a lot of uh, the many humanitarian missions of which we're going to speak about one today, yeah. which has to do with Operation Baby Lift and the evacuation of um, children, infants and children out of South Vietnam as Saigon was falling to the North Vietnamese in 1975. So I'm thrilled and very happy to be here and happy to have uh, made your acquaintance, Lana, and to have an opportunity to work with you because this, is, this was an amazing humanitarian effort, probably one of the least known, mm -hmm. yet one of the largest humanitarian efforts of the last century. And so we are very yes. thrilled to put a spotlight on that effort. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with you completely. Uh, those of us involved in Baby Lift feel it was uh, one of the greatest humanitarian efforts of the 20th century. And as you say, uh, hardly anybody knows about it. So very grateful to you and Pan Am Foundation, of course. Very Thank grateful. you. Thank yeah. you. We are very excited at the show, too, because we, you know, we're, we're going to watch it now go from here to here. And um, last year it was a, a big hit here. And, That's right. you know, now look what we're going to, you know, you're going to help us do. It's just wonderful. Mm. And Lana, you better be taking your vitamins because <laughs> this is going to be big, girl. And you and Greg are a big part of it and grateful to you both for oh, all no. your thank support you, and you, encouragement you. and everything you do that makes something like this possible because oh, uh, we would not exist without Valentina and Greg, of course. Yeah, well, and Greg, Greg you know, the great, right. we call him the great Greg for ah, a reason. There you go. go. Here we go. Here we I'm go. I'm buttering him up because you know, I have some. something she needs I have some It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. I know. It's Something's coming up. Oh. I know her. <laughs> yeah. Today's a good day. But you know? I gotta tell you, besides, great day. besides today being uh, uh, Veterans Day, we always have uh, whatever today is. We always just talk about it a little bit. Uh, today's National Sunday Day, but what is there to talk about about making Sundays? Which I love Sundays. Yum. <laughs> well, right, exactly. Yum. Everybody exactly. can take home a little treat and put it in your ice cream. You have cookies. You have cherries. I mean, this is what you have to do. Listen. <laughs> Candy you and take snacks. Take one of these like this. You take a cookie like this. Uh -huh. like, 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 like. It's a little molded, but no, it's not. I just got them. Take yeah, take one of these and just right put in it in your pocket cream. like this, and, and wait till you get home. And please put it on your Sunday. Yes, and think oh, of okay, us. that sounds okay. good. It's a really good yeah. idea. That's yeah, why like we got the little. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that home. Do you want some? No, right here. No, no. no? Thank okay. Maybe later. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I know. Even she doesn't want the damn thing for crying out loud. No, no but joking. she'll have it later. I'm joking. Look, look, look. not by choice. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Lana, Lana, we go back a long way. Yeah, we do. We yeah. do. Sometimes Absolutely. I agree. Uh, how, how, did you, how did you? How did you? How did you deal with her? <laughs> Big pardon. How Sorry. did you deal with this one? She, he, he thinks I'm tough. Uh, Valentina is amazing, <laughs> extraordinary, extraordinary. Who are you talking majestic. about? Who are we talking about? <laughs> she likes me. What yeah. did I say? <laughs> I even smack her around a little yeah. bit sometimes. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Smacking uh, an older I woman around a little bit. <laughs> Get in the <laughs> I like car. To you a Don't bit. move. <laughs> We're on the no. same wavelength as we used to say back in the day. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Rare. yeah. Back you don't in want the day. to. Be, <laughs> she sang for me. I on can't my look at you as the same. She sang for me on my phone the other night. Did you? What was the name of that song again? Oh, which can't one get rid of you. No, can't. Oh, right, oh, sorry. we'll meet again. Yeah, you know, no. the old Vera we'll Lynn song. Yeah. Yeah. She okay. was singing it on my voicemail. Yeah, I'm not right. kidding. Boy, <laughs> boy, Once boy, a vocal boy. teacher, always a vocal teacher. So, how you, so you know, what's happening? I mean, we're we're going to be getting in touch with a lot of people. I understand you called a former presidential uh, yeah, son of very a exciting. Who's yeah. that? We've done two uh, programs, two presidential libraries, FDR and President Ford. And at the President Ford Presidential Library, uh, we were uh, very thrilled to meet both President Ford's brother, Richard, and his son, Steve. And Steve has really um, kept in touch. Richard, unfortunately, uh, is now deceased. Right. But uh, Steve is very interested in the program, feels that this, uh, the Vietnam baby lift is a huge part of his father's legacy as president. And a lot of people don't know, President Ford himself was an adoptee. That's something was that I didn't know. Really? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And when you think of all the things that had to happen, 
for President Ford to be president, Jerry right. Ford to be president yeah. at that Amazing. point in time, wow, I didn't know that. you'd say, oh, no, that could never happen. But it happened. And um, he was at the White House on the morning of April 2nd, 1975, Heard about the first baby lift flight, which was what we call the Maverick flight. Nobody really knew it was yeah. going to happen. <laughs> and, uh, he uh, was sitting there and uh, with several advisors who said, well, uh, let's look into this, but we need to do a study and take a poll. And he said, no, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, and I know you brought your books today. To thank you, to give yes. To give to uh, our two visitors. I did, like yes, thanks them. to you, yes. Yes, and, uh, you know, uh, let's talk to Linda. Like, well, how do you feel about, how did the Pan Am people feel. I know you s reached out to some of the uh, stewardesses right. and I saw some pictures of, you know, people from years ago and I'm like, wow, they're still around. And Pan Am had largely as a, as a company been involved in many evacuation and, and rescue missions throughout its entire 64 year history from 1927 to 1991 when it ceased operations. But in 1975, uh, it was obvious to many, especially the station manager in Saigon for Pan Am, a gentleman by the name of Al Topping, that the situation was imminent and that Saigon would likely fall to the communist north. And it became, there was a chaotic panic situation going on. They knew they needed to evacuate not only um, American corporate people that were there, um, Pan Am obviously had a big presence in Vietnam, as did Citibank, as did mm -hmm. Time Magazine, and other entities. Mm -hmm. uh, they had all contacted the airline um, hoping to get their personnel evacuated out of um, Saigon because in March of April 1975, there were no commercial flights operating any longer. This was a war zone. Uh, the city was bombed and the environs, the, the area around the airport was being bombed as well. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Pan Am, as well as World Airways at the time, and uh, the military with their uh, military charter aircraft, uh, set about evacuating not only the personnel for these corporations that were involved, but also, and most importantly, and where Lana's group comes in, was the baby lift operation. Right. And, and there was probably no more urgent need than to evacuate what were Amerasian children, they were fathered by American military service, mm -hmm. and because of their fathers and then leaving to come back to the United States, were pretty much shunned within the Vietnamese society. Mm -hmm. Most of these children were left in orphanages, and it was pretty well known that uh, when South Vietnam did fall, these children would likely be killed. So the process began to rescue them and evacuate them. Mm -hmm. Pan Am started evacuating the infants and the children in 1973 on the regularly mm -hmm. scheduled flights until the regularly scheduled flights were suspended um, by the FAA. No commercial aircraft was allowed in. President Ford mm -hmm. made it possible for Pan Am and World Airways to operate their, op uh, their aircraft as military charters. And World Airways uh, had, I think, one seventy forty seven and a 727. They actually flew an aircraft into Da Nang, yes. and it was, yeah. it was a very, it was a mad rush to the airport, and the, the plane almost crashed. It's a miracle, yeah. and a wonder that that it didn't. But the pilot was amazing. Um, on April third, one of the military aircraft, it was a, called a C five A Galaxy, which was a military <laughs> charter aircraft and the largest cargo airplane of its time, uh, was full of the babies, and it took off with medical personnel, nurses and doctors, as well as crew. And unfortunately, shortly after takeoff, the aircraft crashed. And most of the babies, probably about 50% of the babies, were killed mm -hmm. during the crash. Uh, there was a mass effort to rescue, because it crashed in kind of a, a swamp area, if you will. And many of the children, ha including one of your daughters that you had eventually adopted, Lana, was on that flight. Well, actually, she was scheduled for the oh, flight, but our agency really? got bumped. Yeah, the oh, last moment. Long story, but um, yeah. So she was on the very next flight, she which you on. just told me recently was Pan Am. It I, was I'd Pan forgotten Am. that. She didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. so thank you for letting me know that. That's the April 5th flight. The airplane, w after the crash and was at the airport, it was obvious they, were, they rescued many, they rescued about 50% of the babies of the children. And there was a gentleman, last name is Macaulay, who was with America Cares. Mm -hmm. 
and he mortgaged his home to charter several Pan Am 747s. Mm -hmm. Amazing. To fly the babies out. And I said earlier that it is one of the largest humanitarian efforts. Over 3,000 children were evacuated in 30 days from, some from Saigon on two or three Pan Am flights, as well as a World Airways flight, and well as um, some of the other military charter flights that were used in the evacuation. Um, for anyone involved, again, because it was a um, war zone, you couldn't force a crew member to fly into a war zone. So they, they were all volunteers. They were contacted. Um, every flight attendant knows that if crew scheduling calls you, you can't say no. But in mm. this <laughs> time, in a time of war, um, they were not forced to fly. So if crew scheduling called them and said, we have a mission and we need to evacuate these children out of Saigon, some said no. But several, many, many very brave young women said yes. And they went in, and they went into harm's way, never, not knowing if the planes were going to be blown out of the sky. The planes were shot at. Yeah. There were bullet holes that riddled the bottoms of the fuselage. Um, and take these babies. Uh, a 747 normally carries about 347 passengers in that day. They had over 500 if infants in bassinets doubled up on the seats. And I think I sent you, Valentina, some of the yes, some I of the was, pictures. Of I the, was of getting the emotional when I was looking yeah. at all the pictures that you sent me. It, it, it was, and um, if you could just imagine <laughs> caring for an infant, and you know, many of us who have children, when you care for one child, uh, it, it's it's a trying, it's a, it's a difficult, rewarding job, but it is very difficult. Now you're talking about each crew member, nurse, doctor, probably had. 10 to 15 babies wow. that, that were in their car, their, the, in their care, their charges, if you will, is how they referred to them. And the babies were very ill. Um, of course, it was not known at the time that the formula, the milk that was being given to them, these babies couldn't tolerate. Right. And Where so, they, no, their systems oh. couldn't drink it. There was, there, it they, was sick. they were yeah. sick the entire flight. And is, you know, we're talking about 12, 14, 16 hour oh flights. Yeah. Um, to leave Saigon and to take off. Most of the aircraft had to go to Clark Air, For ba Air Force Base in the Philippines and then land and um, try to get medical attention for the babies. Some of the babies were taken off and sent to the hospital at Clark Air Force Base. Um, and some were able to continue on. Uh, then they went to Hawaii, Honolulu, and then they went from Honolulu to San Francisco. And on that first flight on April 5th, is when President Ford came to meet yes, the Pan Am right, aircraft that right. came in with the babies. And there's many images and pictures of President Ford holding the babies. And, um, it's a, and it was that a beautiful was thing. Right? Uh, my daughter was on that flight, but she was taken off in Long Beach uh, to, and was cared for at Long Beach Naval Hospital. She was too ill to go on. So, yes. Yeah. But a lot of, we do know uh, one of the photos uh, was taken of a young lady who's in touch with all of us, and oh, wonderful. she's the yes. baby that he's holding. In oh, the is photo. that that's so fabulous? We, we've connected with her. Wonderful. Terrific. We have a painting that was done by yeah. a wonderful <coughs> Vietnam veteran, yeah, Bernie Duff. That. Beautiful. Um, we've got that, and then we've got uh, my friend Joanne uh, Jacobs, who lives in West Hempstead, who is working on a painting for the April 22nd event. Oh, so really? So we're very excited about that. Oh. April 24th. It's right here. 20 April 24th, 2022. Right. Yes. No, to do. <laughs> um, and on April 24th, actually, we will be holding an event at the museum to commemorate the um, 47th anniversary of Operation Baby Lift wow, and, and the actual last flight out mm -hmm. from Saigon, which also is a very historic event and actually depicted in a movie um, called The Last Flight Out, mm -hmm. and it, it, it stars Jamal Jones, and it really depicts this last month of chaos and frenetic activity in which um, these children were evacuated, as were many adults and civilians. Um, as I s referenced before, Pan Am personnel, Citibank personnel, Time Magazine personnel were all evacuated. And, and states, the people who work with the U.S. government, the ambassador and things, mm -hmm. were all evacuated. So we're really okay. thrilled to partner with you on April 24th, 2022. <laughs> so mark your calendars yeah. um, to be available. Um, we, we think it's going to be a very special event. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. And yeah. there's a, a play that will be um, 
read a script reading? Yes, Children of the April Rain, the first ever Vietnam baby lift play. Our playwright is William Bryant Doty. There are nine co-authors, and I'd like to say happy birthday to one of our co-authors, Sally Vineyard. She is, I believe, 97 years oh, young wow. today. Yeah. And uh, she was her. the last woman out on the final helicopter, April 29th, 1975. Jeez. She's one of our co-authors and um, several other folks, military and civilian, are co-authors of the play, Children of the April Rain. So we're very excited about that. It's going to be a very uh, dramatic day because it was really dramatic mm -hmm. here. And this is so much more because we're yes. finding out so much more about it. And you're so educated on everything. <laughs> That Pan she's Am like did. A, she's like a Wikipedia. Oh, <laughs> that's that's how, every time she it. tells oh me God. something, I'm like, it's, it's like you have it in your brain for years and years. Wow. Well, there have been a lot of books written about Pan Am's efforts, and specifically on this, uh, about this one, um, Al Topping's book, as I mentioned, Wings of Freedom, um, is a great read about um, the evacuation of, of, of Vietnam, of South Vietnam, not only the babies, but also of the last flight out on April 24th. Um, and also, an, another woman wrote this great book, and her name is Julia Cook, and mm -hmm. she wrote, it's called Come Fly the World. And Come Fl Julia Cook happens to be an author, but she's the daughter of a Pan Am lawyer who worked mm -hmm. in, in, she is so well researched and documented on any, everything to do with um, many facets of Pan Am, but it's about the flight attendants in particular mm -hmm. that she writes. And this book really documents, this, there's a chapter in the book that is dedicated to Operation Baby Lift oh. and several of the women who were instrumental. And, mm -hmm. and, and she goes into detail about, um, you know, there were moments when people were contacted and said, we need you to fly into Saigon and work these evacuation flights. And it was difficult. Some people said, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And the ones that did, um, and I'm very happy that uh, the ones I've contacted who participated are looking forward to participating in our event on April That's 24th. Great. That is wonderful. wonderful. They are looking to come out. Um, several women, Renata Beglan, yeah. uh, Tori Werner, Lynn Totten, and Ingrid Templeton have all responded um, that very favorably in, in looking forward to participating in the event. Yes, and I read the uh, note that Renata Beglan oh, sent in, touching. Mm. It's a compelling story. No matter who you talk to, no matter what aspect you're looking at, it's so impactful that people put the consideration for their own lives and personal safety to the side and said, this is bigger than me. Um, and yes, I can be afraid about flying into a war zone, but what I'm more afraid is what might happen to these children. Right. Yes. And that was the overwhelming feeling for the ones who did participate in that they wanted to be there. They mm -hmm. knew this was going to be some level of a historic event. Mm -hmm. And one, they wanted to help That's save true. these children. But also, and I've said this to groups up before, this need to help was pretty much in the DNA of Pan Am people. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't the first evacuation mission Pan Am conducted, mm -hmm. and it wasn't the last. But this willingness, desire to go and help different people all over the world, whether it be an evacuation from Saigon, whether it be um, to rescue people from a hurricane or earthquake ravaged area, Pan Am was there and provided assistance whenever. And really at no, little to no cost to the individuals involved because there were a lot of relief, and Lenny, you probably know about this, about the relief agencies that were involved yeah. with the evacuation. Um, but Pan Am was just a good corporate citizen. It was who they were as an airline. Yeah, and obviously the employees were the same. Well, yeah. the ploy th it's funny, because the story of Pan Am is really the story of the people of Pan Am. Right. right. The yeah. people of Pan Am made what happened and what they did and the lives that they changed over the course of 64 plus years mm -hmm. so important. And this is why we're trying to shine a light on their work and their efforts. Um, I've spoken to so many Pan Am people, and they consistently say, please don't let the world forget us. Mm. Please make sure we're remembered and that our contributions are credited and that we're given credit for what we did. 
Good. And Lana, you keep everybody informed, and you That's keep, right. you're a hero. I'm right here on Long Island That's because right. you <laughs> keep talking about it and, and you know, just getting other people involved. And just the people that were involved last year here, they were, like, amazed. And they still talk about it. Yes. Oh, really? Still, oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Thank you. And then you gave some of us an, a, a, a way to act. I mean, we didn't really act, That's but right. we read. <laughs> and it. most people that did it. Loved it and want to do it oh again. Good. Oh, you that's know? Great. great. And news. so, you know, you made a big impact on a lot of people in well, educating us. You know, too. Long Island was a big part of all of this, and um, there are so many people, and I really feel it's a mission in mm -hmm. my life. Your mission, um, that's for to, sure. You know, and then I have all these wonderful people who say, instead of saying, Ah, oh, no, I don't think so. They all say, okay, we'll help you out. <laughs> we'll it. do this. We'll get behind it. We'll be in the forefront. <laughs> now, remember this all. from last year. Oh, well, this lady goodness. here. Now, yes. this lady well. here, remember, she was very special to you, right? Uh, yes. Now, who is this exactly? I'm trying to... The blonde lady here. This is a picture with you. Ah, yes. Yeah. I guess so, yeah, yeah, right. A lot of, yeah, people who really are very special and yes. have been just wonderful for all these years. And uh, Long Island was also a big part of something called um, Healthy Amoration Children, and nobody even knows about that at all, but after Vietnam baby lift, children over the age of 10 were not allowed to leave on mm -hmm. baby lift. And uh, we had a picnic in my backyard, <laughs> and uh, one of the moms stood up and said, what are we going to do about those kids over the age of 10? They're still there. And mm -hmm. that started with a, a petition drive. And uh, eventually we went to two congressmen on Long Island, I believe Norman Lent was one of those Congress people and uh, became the unaccompanied minors <coughs> bill that passed in Congress. So you even were responsible for that? Well, Long Island, yeah, yes. well, Long Island and people, you know, they say, oh, Long Island, you people, you know, what do you do here? You yes, go to shopping malls and the beach. Well, Not true. I'll, I'll we do a lot truth, more. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know how much Long Island partaked in so many things. Yes, and it's, exactly. I mean, being exactly. a, a, a borough kid, yeah, he's you a know, Queens we, you guy. Know, <laughs> you know, South Manhattan, Bronx. In Queens, you know, so. <laughs> Anyone for you South said, Bronx? And, and the only thing that was great when I was younger out here were the nightclubs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the girls, I'm sorry. Well, and the, and, and uh, the service uh, people uh, like the nightclubs you know? and the girls. Yeah. So, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to give a quick shout out. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Jenny A, Jenny C. These are the people that are watching and stuff. Oh, good. So, good. and I want to thank everyone for continue, uh, for supporting us and loving us. And, um. Really, I got to tell you, not realizing how much of an impact that we can do to help others, it's, 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 it's a great feeling, I have to be honest with you. Uh, Stacy, how are you, sweetie? Michael Barrow, hi from Mr. Flint. I came on Operation Baby Lift in oh. 1875 when I was 15 months old. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh, hi. Ali hi. Arabu, we, we have here. Kiwanis, we have Andrew. Andrew, I know we're going to be doing something soon. Hopefully, he's going to come on the show on Monday. We want to talk about okay. that, so wow. I won't forget. Um, Eliza, how you doing, love? She sends her regards. We have Diane Krumholtz. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I didn't want to, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Lyris. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Nicole, you know I told you I'd give you a shout out. She's great. When I was in a hospital, she's one of the uh, uh, nurses that Hi. lives not too far away here. And, and she came every time she worked on her, at the end, and whenever she had a break, she came in my room to check on me. So I want to say thank you for everything oh, that you've done. Very nice. Nancy, how are you? Nancy Quintero, I haven't seen her in a while. She's, she's, she's an amazing woman. Say hello to your daughter. And we have Susan, we have, Na oh, Na wait, Jennifer, I mean, wait, there's two more Nancys. There's one more Jennifer, I'm sorry if I'm mixing it up. Eddie Rydowski, how you doing? Deborah Catano, hello, love, love. Uh, Deborah Catapalo, I always say this on Catapano, I always say that. Linda Yoki, Alan Topping, Phil Verso. Oh, well, Alan, Alan Topping, Alan Topping. Whoa, 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 I know several case, Vietnam uh, veterans we're going to try to watch in today. So Richard, I'm sorry. Home. Richard Weasel. Weasel. Richard Weasel. Hey, Weasel. Weasel. Uh, Lori Cohen. Uh, all right. In case I'm missing anybody else, we'll get Tom Betty. We'll get back to you. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Is it Betty? Is it there? Betty. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know we're missing. Just in case, I'll, I'll get back to you guys. You know what? I just want to say, Joe, how you doing, buddy? I didn't forget you. I'm sorry. I didn't forget you. 
you know, I wanted to say it's it's such a it's a pleasure now. At least for me, it is serving this country. And I remember when I was when I was a young kid. I remember looking at a few army guys, vets that would walk down the block, and and um, people just would spit at them. Mm. You know, because you know it's not your fault. You're you're serving your country the best that you can. You know, you're doing the best you can. You don't know anybody. You're 17 or 18. They're telling you what to do. People turn around saying, "Oh, you always have a free will." Well, no, you don't have free will when you're in the military. Mm, you just true. don't because you know it. It's it's kill or be killed. In other words, you know, and and you're sitting there saying you have to take a man's life that this man has kids and he's doing the same so it's not like as if i know him and you know and and for all the vets like now now you're appreciated at least now i can see this in my lifetime that you guys are appreciated because i know i'm appreciated whenever whenever i wear something that shows i serve for the armed forces and it doesn't matter what branch i know when, when we were younger we were like oh we hate the navy even though we're part of the navy or we hated the Air Force, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? We're all one. And, you know, we're all here to do a job, and that's to protect the world and make it a better place. So to all the vets, I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to my friends and my friends that passed away. Yeah, that's nice. So I love you guys, and, and happy Veterans Day. So and Lisa yeah. Zizzo. Okay. Marguerite. Margarita Bertrand Ramirez. I, 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 Rodriguez. That's not right, Trina. Oh, Ramirez. 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 See, stop. Okay. Get your nose out All of All right, I should have looked. All the time. This is every I know. Day. Well, I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, anyway. Anyway. But so, uh, um, yeah, I just want to say it's uh, it's you. amazing for everything that... And now you're starting to find out more and more what people did back then because it's just nothing you did was right. It just wasn't appreciated. People were... Mm. You had these activists that were, you know, like I said, yelling, screaming at vets, and they couldn't even wear their, their, their jackets or anything to show that, hey, I served this country because they were... Like I said, they would throw things at them, and I just remember my neighbor. He couldn't even, it was just like walking down the block. You had other people that just hated him, and the guy didn't do anything but just serve his country. Well, so, thank you for thank your you service. Thank you, guys. Oh, you're me. My pleasure. Welcome to all the Vietnam veterans. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And Henry, Colo wait, Colen, wait, you know what? Today must be like all these Polish people. With, names, no, no, no. The names, names are like, I swear to you. They're Czechs, Polish, or <laughs> Kolonovsky. Kolonovsky, that's Kolonovsky. how you say it. Okay. Well, because I, 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 I was Polish. Okay, I was raised anyway, Polish. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Okay. So well, let's get back. Linda, let's I want to, um, what would you like to say in ending about the museum? Because let's give it the, the credit they sure, deserve. Sure, thank you. you. Know? Well, I hope um, anyone that can and will and soon comes to visit us over at the, we are located in Charles Lindbergh Boulevard um, in Garden City, Long Island, New York. Um, we do have a podcast program that was launched in August of this year, and each uh, we pro we launch about two episodes per month, maybe more. Um, so far, the podcast program has received incredible popularity, uh, downloaded over almost eleven thousand times in eighty three countries. Mm -hmm. So we know Terrific. that the yeah. Pan Am story still lives on. The legacy is an amazing one. We're trying to shine a light on it. We, we appreciate your support and your participation. Come visit us. Uh, visit our website, thepanammuseum.org. Listen to our podcast uh, and follow us on social media. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and <laughs> we're on Twitter. So we look for your participation, and we and I appreciate you allowing me to be here today. Thank you so much. No, it's our pleasure. Uh, anytime. It's our pleasure. We'll, we'll have you back again as Thank it gets you. closer. <laughs> Terrific. Yes, because we know. do want to talk about more about the details when we have everything Absolutely. ready. Absolutely. As soon as <laughs> you're ready. And also, Greg and I are thrilled to be a part of it. Thank you. And uh, Lana, well, I don't have to tell you how happy she is. <laughs> she calls me every day. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're very happy to have met her, too. She's Overjoyed. been a blessing. Yes. Overjoyed. Yes. Terrific. So Thank we'll you. be in touch again. Okay. It was and nice. Uh, nice to be here. Thank you so much. You know, hang out for a while. Sure we have will. Some, maybe we'll I'm going to eat my cookies. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat my yeah, cookies. Yeah, have a drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, you don't have to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing them. That's teasing. fine. That's fine. Anyway. Leave for Jerry. He'll eat them. Okay, can leave for Jerry. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we're going to be bringing in uh, this wonderful gentleman that I also know, Jerry Ferretti, from the New York Long Island Film Festival. He's an Elvis impersonator. Ah. He's, he's a he's everything. movie maker. He's, he's an everything. actor. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> What's up, baby? Jerry, I'll blow Let's you a kiss. He made me an actress. We don't have to say that. Jerry made me an actress, okay? You always, right away. <laughs> right away. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I blow you. Uh, Good to see you again. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you. Yeah. So you, you know Lana well from yeah. last year. Thank this you. 
Yeah, you so this great is your job last director, year. Honey. That's right. I know. Thank you so much. This you're is welcome. such an honor for all of us that uh, you're involved in this. It's just well, tremendous. Thank you. It is for me too. Oh I mean, it's goodness. a pleasure to be involved okay. in something like this, and you know, uh, it's an amazing story. Uh, it, it is, you know, uh, as I say, we all feel, those of us involved, that it was one of the great uh, humanitarian efforts of the 20th century. There's nothing. I don't know why this isn't on Broadway. If well, well, there you Broadway, go. That's <laughs> when I, you know, when I turned around, I sat there. I know we have a, a, a surprise in a couple of months, but I don't want to ruin it, but I'm stunned at a surprise for you. Okay. But, um, any Broadway uh, angels uh, out there? <laughs> right? Any left that's anymore? It. That's it. Well, you are, <laughs> we are angels? in good hands with Jerry, right. to tell well, you that. Thank you. I mean, thank it's nice so to be much. involved in something real, something yeah, where yeah, you yeah. can tell Absolutely. a story that is, you know, meaningful. We, you know, you, you were in my last film. And it's, it's, it's a story. <laughs> oh, you create right. a story. You write a story. But it's not real. real. It's well, like it's any kind of movie we see. <laughs> You know, when you asked me to be involved in this, I, and I started reading all the material, a lot of which I was completely unaware of. Um, we try. <laughs> we are trying. Only been 47 years. I mean, you know, who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> who's counting? We are trying, and we've been trying. You know, well, but this uh, time, I think yeah. you're going to get a lot of attention. I think so, more. yeah. This yeah. seems like the right moment. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, right, so although it was you. great the last time, you know, when yeah. Valentina mentioned it to me, I said, okay, but we're going to... We're going to really oh, spice it's it up be a little bit. Yeah. 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 Tweak it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. And most of the people that did read are interested again, but that's up to yeah. you because you're the care. You know, you're the now it's a pretty large cast. Yes. Yes. I, yeah. I don't know the exact yes. amount of I want to be one of the babies that's always <laughs> afraid of. <laughs> I can't <laughs> any love. I want someone to hold oh, me. Oh, that ought to be like a lot this. of fun. We're going to need a very <laughs> large <laughs> person. You can do that one. Well, I actually think we'll have real babies this time. I really do. Oh, you I got you have them. Well, <laughs> we can get oh, where's, where's where's you. Wait, who's directing? Wait, 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 I don't wait, know. Do you, this is I'm news to me. The <laughs> casting director. Okay. I'm kidding. Hey, I leave it all up to Jerry. Oh, great. That's it. Now I have to get real, real babies. babies. How many you, you have to get? You have to get uh, real babies now. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, so you know, what's your plans? What are you thinking? Well, I mean, apparently now I need babies, but <laughs> right. aside from that, I say. <laughs> I mean, nobody not heard us, you, though. So <laughs> nobody heard you. A little earlier, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, the first thing we're going to have to do is determine who's involved. I mean, right. uh, yeah. I know you, you sent me the script, and you're going to be oh, good. Uh, printing good. up the scripts, yeah. and it's the same script from the last time, yes, correct? Yes, right. Only this it's going to uh, be straight this time. William, <laughs> William <laughs> Brian Doty is our playwright, and he uh, he's really... There would be no play. He's really the person who made sure he got everyone's story. And um, there were eight eight of us, uh, basically, who got involved in that. And he mm -hmm. got their oral histories, or in some cases, there were books that were already written, and he got their permission to use them. And um, he, he really is the guiding light behind all of this. So we're very grateful to him. Right. Yeah. And... That's that's terrific, and and I knew once we have the cast set, yeah, and I right. know you're going to be reading as well, right? Yeah, sure, yeah, everybody of course, here is you know, yeah. Everybody, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I, I'm playing two parts, and I know you're <laughs> you're an aspiring actor oh, too. You've is. got that. Okay. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> here we Susan, go. Susan, Susan yeah. is going to be in it also again. There you yes. Go. Mm -hmm. And then we have. Um, actually, Gloria Parker, who is you uh, know, she's just giving you your actress. cast that you don't even know no, about. No, he knows. But, I have but, the list from last but, year. Okay. Yeah, but that's but that's important. Decision. I mean, yeah. it's, it's your decision. But use Linda, use Greg, use this, use that one, use this one, that one. But it's right, your decision. Right. Okay. Remember Jerry that. knows. And you know, I'll be bringing yeah. in some people from my oh, team. Of course. And, 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 so and they're they're all excited about So in other words, involved. enough yeah. with the cast. <laughs> but <laughs> that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, we get along. I do actually. One of the things I pride myself on is working with non-actors. Oh. Whenever I'm working in, in my films, I always enjoy working with non-actors because they're more pliable. As long as they're into it and passionate you about it. You can mold them. You can mold them. Magic right. molding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're talking about a. a I'm just it. trying to there add a go. little fun. Yeah, you're adding, right. <laughs> okay. I love All to right. make you embarrassed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, like to make you red. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, right. you make yeah. me red. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Melissa, Melissa, how are you, honey? Giving you a big shout out. Um, she's a sweetie, I got to tell you. Thank you so much for, for being so kind, loving me, and, and being you and your kids and everyone else. Love you guys. Mwah. Big shout out to you. So we're, we're very excited. Glana, what do you have to say to him? I'm just so amazed Jerry. that this is all falling into That's place because of you guys really yeah. introducing me and to Jerry. And Jerry, thank you so much. You're and welcome. Just such and an honor. 
Absolutely. Like I, said, I mean, for me, looking at this and seeing what these people sacrificed mm -hmm. yeah. is, is just amazing. When you, yeah. you know, you look at the time we live in right now, and it's very different than, you know, would people step up and do that? Like, what they did saying nowadays, oh, nowadays. like yeah. I, I like to think people would yeah me too <laughs> but y you don't know we, like we yeah. live in a different era where hardship now today yeah. is like you know my cell phone broke yeah. but yeah right back right, then right. that's right that's right so when you Absolute when you hear correct. these stories it's like amazing that people gave up their lives and jumped on a plane to go rescue babies yeah. they don't know yeah. and i think that's an, an amazing thing and as somebody who has not served like like you right. have, you know, uh, to be able to give something, help something, get a story out there, or if I can use my musical talents when I sing on 9-11 or at an event, right. that that's special to me because I'm able to do We're something getting, yeah, right. that gives You're something back that's in right. whatever way that's I right. can. So I'm very happy and proud to be involved in it. And they really are just such an amazing group of people. Um, Sally Vineyard, who I said, is 97 years old old or young today. How, is how is she doing? She's, she's doing, doing very well. I sent her birthday wishes this Good. morning, so hopefully she so got some. So maybe she could hold me, and I'll be the baby, <laughs> and she'll hold me in her arms. Might All happen. Right. Uh, <laughs> she's the last woman out. There's a book called White Christmas in April, because what ended the Vietnam War was a code, and the code went out on the, all the PA systems in Radio Saigon two hours before the end of the war. The code was, it's 110 degrees in Saigon and getting hotter. I remember that line. And that yeah. meant get mm -hmm. to the embassy now. And then the final thing, and I believe if I'm correct, Sally, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it, Sally's choice of the song that would be played right at the end. White Christmas. White right? Christmas. Mm -hmm. And well. the book is called White Christmas in April. Mm -hmm. And Sally has her own chapter, and the chapter is Last Woman Out. Wow. She was there on the final helicopter. Then we have yeah. Ross Meter, who was there on the day before the last helicopter. And you say to Ross, why did you stay so long? And he said, well, how do you leave a country? Do you turn out the lights? Who do you give your car keys to? And he helped with the rescue of all these babies. Sherry Clark, who along with Sister Therese LeBlanc, who recently passed away, a wonderful Roman Catholic nun who carried my, my daughter Jenny out of Vietnam on that last uh, Pan Am flight. Yeah, see, people don't know that, please. Uh, just so amazing people. With so, Jenny. Uh, yeah, uh, with, with Jenny, my yeah. second daughter. Yes. And uh, Sister Therese, Ross Mader, and Sherry Clark are three people who were evacuated twice from Vietnam in April of 1975. Nobody goes back to Vietnam in April 1975. They did to get some more babies out, one of whom was my daughter, Jenny. Aww. Phil Wise, a medic, United States Air Force. Sorry, Greg, yeah. he's not a Marine. No, no, it's uh, all right. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you. We've got the uh, Air Force, <laughs> and we've also got the Army. Phil Wise, we've got Colonel, uh, wonderful Colonel Robert Kane, who was commanding officer of the Presidio. He's passed as well. And his uh, thought was, well, I hear babies are coming in. Why don't we have them all cared for at the Presidio while they get to their connecting flights? Let's do it. He did it. President Amazing. Ford himself, extraordinary. Jeff Gar, a little boy who with his uh, brothers were trying to get on that one of those flights and had to hide literally under the seats. I wondered about Jeff, I'd heard his story. I didn't know that he'd gotten out. And we found out in the year 2000 that he'd gotten out and his brothers, so that was wonderful news. And these are the people, Leanne Tiedman, a nurse who went into Vietnam March 1975 to bring out one child, her son ended up helping to care for 200 babies on the way out. Wow. So these are the people, and I, uh, who can make any of this up? I haven't made I, up I a word of it. Sure. Who could remember everything as well as I know, you do? I swear to you. <laughs> My goodness. You, you think about the things we've accomplished in life and how they, they don't measure up to something right, like that. What right. someone like that did, yeah. and you go, well, what, what, what did I do that was yeah. so like fantastic? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nothing like that. So oh no, amazing! I, it's and amazing. And then you have you know Sally Vineyard, as just said, a, a mom who's working for Defense Attaché Office under the last commanding general of the war, General Homer Duggan Smith. Look I always this. like he to mention yeah. yeah. Homer I Smith and his family. I lovely, lovely people. I can't even remember just meeting people. you right now, and let alone she's bringing back names that are like oh, I oh hope my his God. daughter's watching on Facebook. Lovely family. And, and General Smith is just extraordinary. Sally was at the airport, uh, slept at the airport the last 10 days. And at one point, the Viet Cong shelled the airport. Very calmly, Sally commandeered a Mercedes on a forklift to plug up the hole in the airport. <laughs> true story. Wow, <laughs> you can make that up. True. That one is not made up oh, at all. Yeah. So there are stories like that that are just, you know, they, they overflow.
and uh, then my husband and I self, that's why whenever anybody says I'm heroic in any way, I had no boots on the ground. <laughs> my family was here waiting for our daughters and uh, all these other extraordinary heroes. Well, you're a time. hero, okay? Right. Well, thank you. You're so are you. So is Greg, so is Jerry, so is Linda. Right. Uh, so, so are you all. <laughs> so, so Jerry, how's it going since the festival? I mean... Uh, unbelievable. Uh, well, I know. You had so many additional movies and people. And we've already gotten... Awards. We've gotten like... We already have about 10% of the films that we had all of last year, and it's only been yeah. a couple of weeks for next year. Are you already starting? Films are coming in already mm. at a rapid rate. So what are we going to do, rent the whole town for a, f a week? Well, <laughs> there's some interesting news. Seaford Cinemas is reopening. Oh. Wow. So I'm going to be talking to him about possibly expanding again and maybe holding it in, in both locations. So it's it's definitely going to grow, and uh, it's been great. I mean, every the, the, the feedback has been phenomenal. I know. Well, I'm working on a new film with two of the filmmakers from oh the festival. Really? They oh, that's great. Zoomed last night. The They're writing a new that script. One? No, that's mine. Oh. Which <laughs> I'm going to be working the with these guys yeah. on that one, but this is their script, and there's the networking. And it's amazing. It's really, it's really, it's really amazing. amazing. There's so really many is. people working together that met at this festival, which is the greatest it is. part of it. It's a lot and of fun. Of course, my wheels turn with this, too. I'm thinking, like, it should be film, documentary, the making of what we're doing. Uh, you know, like, it's could always... Could be a future, right? Yeah, it's something to... Because it's, it's so interesting, and it would be great to maybe bring that into the festival, bring that presence wow. into the festival, and help get that wow. story out. That so now they nice. just opened up, I believe, Malvern Movie Theater. Oh, oh they wow. did, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and I have to give a big shout-out to Diane and... Melinda, our two new members. Diane works for the Malvern Movie Theater. Oh, okay. So if there's something that you want to, yeah, uh, you, you know she's there. She, she's she's great. And I want to say thank you for our two new members in the Malvern yeah. Kiwanis. And Denise, shout out to you, love, love. I know you're. Wa I know you're watching. Albert, I didn't get to say hello. Debbie Vendito, I love you, honey. I miss you. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. And uh, yeah, you know we were talking about there. It's it's a uh, the, the movie theater is a. Independent film, pr predominantly independent film, you know, uh, the mo the movies. No movies. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's not like they didn't before. They didn't have all these big, right. you know, uh, movie hits, right. whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, mm -hmm. now they they've started getting some of the you know you know movies because they wanted to kind of boost it back up again because it's been out of commission for quite some time. And um, mm -hmm. but they're still going to do that where you could feature, you know, if you're. Oh, that sounds you know, great. Independent kind of film, you can, yeah, so that's something yeah. I know. It, it, it's a good byproduct of what really happened is. with COVID is we're going to see both mm. now. Right. Movies mm. going to come back, but right. it's opened the whole market for the independent films. Mm. And, you know, it's, I don't think we're going to see movie theaters disappear. Right. I know right. everybody's been saying, oh, they're not going to come back. Because no, the they're still going right, to be right, around. Right. No, we want what? that movie that's theater right, experience. You know, you do want the sound. You want the effects. You want to you know, be there. And it's true. Watching something. I mean, I don't care how big you, you have a, I don't care how big your screen is at home. It's still not the same. And even though I have surround sound, it's great. It's like my little man cave. And it is great to have it, but it's not the same. You're eating popcorn. Everybody's sitting That's right true. next to you. As long and as, it's a day as out. As long as I don't have one of those poofon big headed <laughs> ladies with a hairdo like right. this, yeah. I'm good. You know, if you think but the I same always get those. It's just my luck. I don't care where I go. So The same thing happened when TVs first started getting big. They said no one's going to go to sporting events anymore. Yeah. That's, a, yeah. That's not true. Well, they still go to sporting Greg events. The big screen you built? Yes. Well, we <laughs> talked about that the last yeah. time. So. <laughs> you know, it's so funny talking about TVs. I was the remote control for the black and white TV for my family, my father. You know, because remember you had that clack, 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 channel two, four, five, seven. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think there was that many at the time, but nine, <laughs> 11. 11 13, yeah, what is that? That, that was VF, what that? Not U, F, H, which was the regular, and then the yeah. VF, that had channels. From toy, which of course none of them ever worked. You know, you had all of those other channels that made it <laughs> seem like it was great. My father comes home one day and was sitting there, and Johnny Carson was on. And all of a sudden, my father walks in with a big cardboard. Cardboard must have been about this big, and he says, "We have color TV now." Wow. Now we're like, "Wow, color TV!" So now we're thinking about it. we see you with a big cardboard, like just a big piece of cardboard, and what does he do? He opens the cardboard and he pulls out this like plexiglass, a very thin one, <laughs> and it's red, red, clear, and blue. And he put it up against the television, so you had red heads, <laughs> you had clear <laughs> bottoms, and blue feet. Oh, and we're like, Dad, that's not color. Shut up, you have a color it's TV color. now. 
And <laughs> That's so, funny. <laughs> and somehow you it taped it, Velcro, whatever it is, and we're sitting here, and so my brother and I sometimes would take it and turn it around, put the blue head, <laughs> and oh, try geez. to, you know, oh, my God, it was just really funny. It really was. It was funny. But we had a color TV for about a couple of months, and, and then they had tubes in the back. And everybody else in the neighborhood had, uh, everyone just started getting color TVs, and we still had the black and white. And so what did I do? Of course, it was me. And my brother told me to do it. He goes, listen, you don't have tubes. If you, if, you, if you pull a couple of the tubes out, it won't work. Wow. And so me like a schmuck. But you think I would have taken a <laughs> tube out when the thing was off. You remember how those things used to glow? Oh, oh yeah. schmuck. Burn my mother now. goes, pull it now. Now you want to pull that one, which is the biggest, hottest, reddest tube <laughs> out of all of them. Ooh, so ooh. I grab it. It's like, Shh. then it goes, don't let go. <laughs> So I Don't finally pulled it out, the TV went oh, out. No. And then thank God my father didn't go get it fixed because he would have found out it was that. But we told him later, but it was really funny. But we did get another television. It was a color, and I was very excited about it. So uh, sorry, I never told you that. Well, Rosemary <laughs> Gridley, wait a second. Rosemary, you're back. I missed you, hon, very, very much. And I'm glad John is doing a lot better. Rosemary Gridley, you know, I, I know uh, John hasn't been feeling good. I hope you're also feeling better. So thank you so much that you're back uh, with us. So I'm sorry. But getting back to the TVs, yes, it was just uh, that's something. Hmm. Yeah, it was it was really crazy. Maybe your first remote that used to click. Yeah, oh. it was loud. We you called remember? it a clicker. Yeah, I didn't clicker. know what you called that it, but I was always a clicker. remote. Greg, change the channel. Clicker. Yeah. Greg, right. change the channel. So I didn't even want to watch TV most of the time because, like I said, I watched Lawrence Welk. Did I really want to watch Lawrence Welk? No, Sorry, you had to. but I had no choice. You had to. I'm telling you. And then, I, and then I tell the story. My my grandmother gave me a for for my birthday. I wanted to play an instrument. And I, and I kind of like the drums. She gives me a big accordion. Who the hell Back plays the an accordion? <laughs> yeah, lots you know, of You know, the thing uh, was bigger than me. A lot of Italian sitting, people like, play accordion. And I was like, whoa. It's very popular. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, killer, please, guys. Yeah. Oh, you don't know what I went through with that. I couldn't even carry it. Oh, uh, no. You know? Oh, like it was like a, a furniture piece. <laughs> so, Jerry, what's the big secret oh. about the next movie that you're talking about that you don't talk about? Oh, that audition I posted for that's actually uh, uh, supposed to be a, a mainstream film that, that I have the opportunity to be to have my audition scene. Oh, so I, I made that real, and it's right now possibly in the hands of some people that I can't really name. I've yeah, been sworn I, I, to secrecy, I, I, and uh -huh. that's great. Hopefully, they like what they see, and uh, I get a call. Very excited. But for yeah, you. that's kind of exciting, and uh, but I, I figured I'd post it because yeah. I like the way it came out. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Are you kidding? I haven't posted my movie yet. No, and and, and <laughs> I, I will eventually post that yeah, film. Well, I'm not. I, I I'm just haven't really uh, put just the word out. I haven't shown it to Greg yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm I really, seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited yeah. about this film, The Fontanas, because it's something different for me. It's a, it's a, it's based on reality. It's based on a, it's four generations of a family, and it's about, it's about relationships, um, marriage, dating, divorcing. But it's, real it's, life. It's I want to get on that one. I, 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 you know what? I can see you in it in some. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll be Way in touch with that. Oh, wow. And I hope I to be filming in, too. in the spring. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be a, a nice, it's a large cast, but it's going to be a simple production, and I'm looking to bring bring it to the next level. Terrific. And I'm shooting it in four segments, so it's going to be like four episodes that if you put them together is a film. But Terrific. each episode will stand alone, and it has to do with the way the story is being told. And it's going to be a fun, really fun production. Okay. So. Mm, sounds Jesus. interesting. Yep. <laughs> Philip Wise, I didn't say hello. Jesus. Carmen Palanca from Hawaii. I love you, honey. I know we haven't <laughs> chat. I miss you very much. <laughs> And of course, Rose, Rosemary, I know you had to correct me there. Past distinguished governor, John says hello. How are you, John? I'm sorry. You know I love you. Keep it straight. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> He's my friend, so a good friend. So See, anyway. we people watch our show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they do. They love your voice. I know. <laughs> That's I what it is. Everybody goes, I remember that voice. You it broke all the glass in my house. You have the two most distinct voices. I'm on telling you, I feel one's <laughs> really high. And one, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh yeah. This is true, but we love each other. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And that's for sure. We put up with each other. That's wait, no, no. I put up with you. you oh, with okay. He's the saint. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not the saint. But I'm the good one here. No, I'm joking. We get along great, really. He made this Breakfast Club what it is. I started it. We started working together. Look at us now. That's 13 it. years. Wow. And we're going strong. 200th wow. show, right? Coming 200 show, show, guys. Coming up, the coming Monday up. you're coming. The Monday after Thanksgiving. We're having really? a party. Yeah. It's going to be food. We're inviting people this time. And it's a 200 <laughs> show. That's an accomplishment. Lots of good things. Yeah, that's yeah, right. that's, that's right. great. And that's we're right. working on it. Actually, I just started working on it today. 
Did you? Yeah, I got a call tonight, and it was okay. great to hear from her. Bill Motto, how are you, buddy? So it's going to be a lot of fun. Right after Thanksgiving, I come back from Maryland. Boom. Ah. We have the You'll show. You'll be nice and refreshed. That's right. Bada bing, bada boom. And yesterday, we went into the city, and we saw- How was it? It was good. We saw the three A creams. Okay. And um, the Rhapsody in the Rain, it was emotional, though. Mm. Oh, really? Very, very emotional. True story about uh, a love story. It was a one-man show. Mm. Absolutely great in the uh, United Solo Theater in Manhattan. Small mm. and um, clean and very nice. And uh, we went to a great new restaurant. You have to go. The guys that used to own the diner in Franklin Square opened right. up a restaurant in the You're city. You're kidding me. Ser oh, Seren Wait, the one in, over here in Hempstead Turnpike? That one? Yes. Or, or, oh, the two okay. brothers. Oh they wow. treated us like royalty. I'm going to post the pictures Wait, Well, you tomorrow. pop up all over the place. I <laughs> see you on Facebook. I'm like, oh, boy, my God. So this one, she, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> find Waldo, but, but you can find this one. I'll tell you. Well, you know what? Waldo's that's what everywhere, makes she's the world everywhere. go round. That's yeah. right. And that's how you meet all these great people. And now, look, you just met... George again, and you're thinking about yeah. working with George, Very George enjoyable. Mizrahi. Yes, from yes, yes, I remember. Yeah. So he's a great, yeah. great writer, too. Yep. He's, and he's into it. I, I, you know who yeah. I just ran into? I forgot his name. Please, I'm so sorry. From Gravesend. Oh, Peter Gordio? Peter, yeah. Oh, I yeah, love I, him. I was death. coming out, and, and I saw him, and he's like, Greg, I mean, the guy, I got to tell you, the guy, he's so well Ooh. fit. Whoa. And I got to tell you, good luck. For wow. <laughs> easy killer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord, Jesus. Gravesend is doing phenomenal. Yes, you, they did are. you hear about yeah, it in the yeah. news the other day? No, somebody was talking about it. I didn't, I didn't hear yeah, about it. Doing I, mean, I heard about it from somebody else. Shout out to my good friend, Sandy Favuzzi, who's um, Chaz Palminteri's right-hand man. He just got involved with Gravesend. He was going to okay. be 10 lines, so he's acting in that. That's and, great. Um, William DeMeo is doing a great yeah, job with that. And guess who's coming on the show in two weeks? Joe DeBarry. Oh, really? Oh, yes. great. That's great. That's great. I get around. Chris McKay, yes, she does. She yes, got around when she was younger, too. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about that. That's another show Whoa. on its own. I'm a professional. Okay? Yes, she is. No she started when she was young. Okay? <laughs> Worked her way up to the top. <laughs> it's all about networking, yes, guys. Live networking, what we do here. It's the greatest, right. greatest tool for marketing. It really yeah, is. It's so, true, Lana, true. you are yes. in the spotlight again. Oh, well, thank you so much, yeah, for everything. And i um, so grateful that this is all happening. You mentioned Chaz Palminteri. I always love to hear about someone from the Bronx. Right? I'm That's from it. the South Bronx myself. Oh, there are a few of us left. Not too Bronx. many, but a few of us. So yeah, let's, let's just mention who was your little guy that you used to like back in high school. Oh, I grew up, old? yeah, I grew up with uh, Lou Alcindor. Who uh, became a really great basketball player? I didn't Kareem like the way you Abdul Jabbar. You both, said, you both remember? I didn't like the way you said <laughs> and, uh, that. You should talk about your height, my friend. So we're going to try to we're going to get him to come. What a lovely Kareem young man! Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You never yeah, know. We get on the subway. He went to high school at Power Memorial. I went to Performing Arts, the famed school, and uh, right. we'd be on the IRT and, and get out and walk to our, our project. We both lived in New York City housing project um, buildings. And uh, I'd say goodbye because I got on the elevator and he could fit into the elevator. He was too tall. So he had to walk up to, I think it was the ninth floor. <laughs> well, I'm going to try. Lovely. Get him oh, to this what a one. great, really great, we'll fine try. He's young got a man. foundation as well. Really? I think he still yeah. looks good, good, exactly good. the same. Does He's he? a little older, but Did you date him? <laughs> his smile is Did still there. No, no. He wanted yeah. to. Oh, she she wanted I, knew to date him. I knew there was something I were missing. I went to the fame school. All we did was work. Okay. Because she would have, but he couldn't get in the elevator. He couldn't get in the elevator. I tried trapping him, and really, I set up traps for him. No. No, I went to, you know, the fame Lana has a little someone that she wants to date. I might be working it out. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, she saw, it. She yeah, saw no, Just air your news. This is what yeah. she's good at. Air Lana your, saw yeah. him on our show. Okay, <laughs> all right. So easy. Out. All right, so easy, <laughs> killer. This, okay. That's My not grandson is <laughs> here, you know, today. Please, yeah. you know. She called me and said, look, I'm, I'm game. Another shout out, Chris McKay. How are you? Sal Petrillo, Jim Capel, oh. Nick. Oh, Nick, Nick, Nick. I tell him, Junior, how are you, Nick? She hasn't hit your car at all. Oh, so I'm she, really glad that you haven't seen her. He hasn't been around. So, I miss Nick. Yeah, everybody misses Nick. He's really a great guy. Yeah. Really, really is. But uh, guys, I wanted to say thank you so much, so much for being on the show. Linda, thank, thank you, you so much thank again. Thank you for having us on. And, yeah. Yes, you know, it's um, just been a great show. We're very happy. Yeah, it was happy. a great show. And, and um, uh, you know, we're looking pleasure. forward to the future of... This is That's just for sure. extraordinary. That's for sure. Yeah, it You're really ready to rehearse yeah. and practice. And, and, and she's oh, going to be in a part so in Vietnam yeah. where they have the part where <laughs> Love Me Long Time. 
I mean, not, not, there's just a saying, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> okay, on Good Morning America. You know that Good Morning America? <laughs> He's bad. Good With Robin morning, Williams. Good, good, morning, morning, Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah, good, good morning, morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam, yeah. Yeah, yeah there yeah. was a part that it was just a, just a funny part. That's what I just That's I mean. Look, I, you know me, I'm gay. Yeah. I know. I'll, so I'll anyway, I wanted anything. to thank you guys so much. We're oh, looking forward you. to everything in the future with you guys. Jerry, and thank Jerry, you. You're the best. You really you. are. Lana, you're we love you very much. You're extraordinary you know. people. The way you make things happen, it's like you have a magic wand somewhere, <laughs> and you just are amazing. I, I, I doff my hat to you. Aww. Thank you. Thank Sweet. you. Thank you. We love you very much, oh, and we're looking you. forward to it. Of course, you'll be back on the show again when we oh. get closer. Oh, yes. It gets closer, and Linda will be back. Oh, yeah, so wonderful. We wanted thank to thank you. our uh, our sponsors, and I want to thank Tranquility Spa, 700 Franklin Avenue. It's all it's, it's a great place, it has a, a great mm -hmm. salt cave and foot mm -hmm. massage, back rub, you name it. And, and great meditation music, which it took a, a little bit of, a bit of time for me to kind of get used to it. It was just hard for me because I'm just such a thinker and I can't relax. But I did relax and I want to say thank you so and much. And next time you go there, you'll be hearing my voice because I just did a voiceover for you. Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> you, you oh, Tranquility Spa is no longer a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, all of your jewelers. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Teddy and Christine. Uh, 1033 Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square. Right now, I mean, he's having all these specials, these sales on jewelry, and and I got to tell you, he'll beat any price anywhere. And he's the greatest. All right. Definitely, just mention uh, the Long Island Breakfast Club show, and he'll give you a, a percentage. I mean, he's just great. He'll he'll take care of you. I don't even have to say that. No, and Jackson Ewart, you, you, oh, for all your tax needs, Prince. Thank you so much. And he's located at 978 Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square. And everyone else, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. And we're, we're very, very grateful. Thank you uh, for the veterans that are out there and the guys that are unknown out there, <laughs> unseen <laughs> and unheard. Jaden, so, Jaden, oh, great music. I didn't hear. Jaden. Oh, Jaden. Jayden. I'm so sorry, buddy. Thank you for that music. I want to say thank you so much. See, I'm, I'm hard of hearing. That's from listening to this one all the time. Okay? No, I'm joking. Um, no, thank you so much. That was great. Looking forward to you doing that again. And he's an actor, and too. He's Jayden an actor? Has, yeah, if you you're looking for a teenage actor. There you go. Oh, yeah, actors. definitely. Definitely. Oh, really? um, yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And your granddaughter, too. She loves to singer. sing. And, and Does she really? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, She's wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, thank Talent's you. Talent's everywhere in the family. Yeah. I tell you, they're amazing. I, I love yes. watching him. That's great. Yes, she That's was great. on our show once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Cliff. Appreciate it. Great job. Everybody else, it's a...